Hey YouTubers, it's RC here with RC67. And I got a couple cars I'm gonna showcase for y'all today. And I was out uh, running some errands and there's a antique shop in the area I was at called the Brass Armadillo. And so I swung in there and found, found a few cars I wanted to pick up. And uh, none of them I have in my collection, so I thought I would grab them while the grabbing was good. So the first one here, is a Porsche 917 LH. This is the Gulf Livery Edition. Um, this one is, I think, back from like 2017 or 18, but I don't have this in my collection. So really pretty cool. Uh, nice thing about it, these are actual lenses for the headlights here. It's got nice tampering there with the number 18 and then Gulf Livery there. Uh, nothing too crazy on the back as far as detail. And then just your plastic white base with not a whole lot of detail. And then of course your wheels. So, but this is a nice car. I can add to the collection with my golf stuff and uh, continue to grow that. So again, this is a car I did not have. And when I saw it, I had to pick it up. Uh, next car is a neat streeter. Uh, this was a car. I've got a couple of these in my collection. I've got a couple treasure hunts and, and a super treasure hunt from this, which I'm going to do a showcase video on here probably soon. Uh, but uh, this one here is one I picked up. This one here, I believe, is from back in 1996. And um, nice thing is it's got a metal base. Um, it's got, you know, the obviously the hard plastic wheels. Your front there with the scoop on it. And then it's a little bit of tailpipe detail there. Um, back in the day, this came out, I believe, um, in 1969 or 70. It was released in Hot Wheels, and it was known as the Coupe, and the rear rumble seat actually opened up. Uh, they retooled them later on, and they started eliminating moving parts because of cost. And, of course, we ended up, they changed the name to the Neat Streeter. So if anybody knows a little bit more detail as to why they changed it to the Neat Streeter, I don't know. But anyway, I thought this was a pretty cool car, and I got a few in my collection, and I thought I would put this with the rest of them. So that was another one I got. Uh, another one, I love Camaros, and this is from around a 2010 car, Muscle Mania set that came out. And this is uh, the Camaro, 67 Camaro, and the opening hood. So this has an opening hood, and they don't make the opening hood anymore on the Camaros. I really like this paint job, the orange with the black flame, and then the kind of the silver uh, accents is really pretty cool. Does have a metal base, and of course the opening hood. Uh, not too much detail on the back end there. And then of course, you know, there's no detail really on the grill there. So this will go in my Camaro collection. And I any anytime I find Camaros with opening hoods, and that's one of the reasons why I go to these antique stores and these, these uh, flea markets and stuff is that you will find a lot of these older Camaros with the opening hoods. So I don't collect the newer ones the 67s with the non-opening hoods anymore i try to collect the ones with the opening hoods just because it's just a really cool looking car and it adds a little bit more character to it so anyway so that's another one i got here was a 67 camaro and then finally i got a 71 mustang funny car this is a treasure hunt uh you can see the treasure hunt logo right there on the lower right quarter panel behind that front wheel there and then if you tilt the car back i don't think you can see it on camera there but there is the gold writing or the silver writing or whatever that says congratulations you have found a treasure hunt so i've got this one um i do have duplicates of this now so this is one i'm going to open up and add to my loose collection of treasure hunts that i've got and uh put this one there and it actually wasn't too expensive uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's not a, you know, not a bad price. So I decided to get this one. So, but I do like it, you know, pretty basic, nothing too crazy as far as detail. It does not open. So this is actually this, all this base is, is uh, solid together. So it won't open up or anything, but it's a pretty cool car. I like the detail on the, the striping. And of course I'm a Mustang guy. I do collect Mustangs as well. So, but anyway, that is it for now. Um, I hope you guys like what you saw. If you wouldn't mind, like, comment, or subscribe. But in the meantime, I hope everyone's having a great day. This is RC with RC67 signing out.